Chapter 20, Submissions So, you've spent over a hundred hours writing, honing, and editing your masterpiece, your magnus opus, your precious. Now what? Now you have a decision to make. Well, you have lots of decisions to make, but first this one. Traditional publishing or self-publishing? This was not easy for me to decide. Granted, seven years ago, the view of self-publication was different than it is now. It was still looked on with some disregard then, though that's mostly dropped away. However, I also didn't know what the hell I was doing. I also was very lucky in that I had a friend who also happened to be a small press publisher. So, I submitted my book to her, and she published it. Not everyone is that lucky, nor does everyone want to publish with a small press. Some have a dream of traditional publishing while others crave the control of self-publishing. There is no wrong decision. However, as an extreme planner, I've discovered something after having ten novels published with a small press. I've discovered that I would much rather have the control of self-publishing, so that's what I'm pursuing with my novels going forward. For those that do decide to go towards the traditional path, though, this section is for you. To agent or not to agent. Let's start with some terms so we have a common starting point. Literary agent, an individual who legally represents your manuscript to a publisher with the goal of seeking the best terms possible for you, the author. Query, a letter, normally an email these days, initially sent to a literary agent, trying to get them to represent you. Simultaneous, CIMO, submission, an author submitting to more than one agent or publisher at a time. Most agents will mention on their website if they do not accept CIMO submissions, most do. If the agency does not accept CIMO submissions, they will often give you a time frame to get back with you. If, after that time frame, they do not respond, it's generally understood that you can begin querying other agents. Note, even those agents and publishers who accept simultaneous submission requests that you let them know if you've accepted a contract elsewhere. Slush pile, the pile of unread manuscripts and queries every agent collects. Unsolicited slash solicited query, an unsolicited query is one sent without a prior request or relationship between the author and the agent. Solicited is when an agent requests a submission, such as when you meet one at a conference or a pitch day on Twitter. AR, Association of Authors Representatives, a professional association of literary agents who uphold certain ethical values while representing you. Before you begin querying, it is expected that when you begin querying, your manuscript is complete and publication ready, i.e., content editing, copy editing, and proof editing are complete. This will be future editing by your literary agent slash publisher, but you should consider it ready to go once you begin sending out requests. You'll want the manuscript ready to send as soon as you get a positive response from an agent. What is a query? A query is a one-page letter sent to either a literary agent or a publisher to entice them to consider representing your manuscript to a publisher. The query itself should be short, sweet, and to the point. It's a form of targeted marketing that tells your book's story. Why do I need a literary agent? If you are not self-publishing, you will more than likely need an agent to represent your work to a publisher. Most major book publishers and many smaller but substantial publishers will not accept your manuscript directly. While there are some independent literary agents out there, most agents work for a literary agency. Once an agent agrees to represent your work and you've signed a contract with them, your agent will then submit your manuscript to publishers they believe will like your book and try to secure a publication deal. They will act as an advocate in both getting your book in front of publishers and helping create an equitable relationship and contract if and when your book is accepted by the publisher. While some publishers don't require an agent, the query letter works for them directly as well. Finding an agent Find the books similar to your own and see if you can find who agent them. Sometimes that's easy, sometimes not so much. 
Writer's Digest Annual Guide to Literary Agents, published around September of each year. Agentquery.com, about 1,000 listings and resource community. Publishers Marketplace, publishersmarketplace.com. Writer's Market, www.writersmarket.com, 400 to 600 agent listings, $5.99 monthly subscription fee. Manuscript Wishlist gives what each agent is looking for, searchable by genre, mswishlist.com. QueryTracker.net, 200 publishers, 1,000 agents. Absolute Right Water Cooler, list of editors and predators. AbsoluteWrite.com. Are they looking for your genre? What is their sales track record, often listed on MSWL and other places? New agents are easier to get in with, but may not have the experience or contacts. Does their website look professional and geared toward readers? If it's geared more toward authors, they may be looking to make money off of reading fees or editing packages rather than sales of your books. Do the covers of other books they publish look professional? The agent slash publisher usually has control over cover art. If they are crap, they're cutting corners on such costs. This won't help you much. Despite popular belief, people really do judge books by their covers. Your agent should be a mentor, coach, cheerleader, and business manager, at least in part. It's their job to market your work to the publisher. It's a partnership. Read every contract carefully. Be aware of costs flowing from the author. Reputable agents don't ask for cash up front. Agent exercise, research your favorite authors, and see if you can find which agents they use. Make a list of 10 agents you would like to work with. Also, make a list of three publishers you'd like to work with. You want the agent that will work best with you, which means you want one that works with your genre. Hint, you likely won't get your first choice. You may not even get your 20th choice. Getting an agent's attention and their representation is, in some ways, harder than writing the book itself. Extreme planners like me keep a spreadsheet of the agency name, the agent, their genre, their terms, answer within six weeks, etc., and the date of submission to them. Then I color code those that have responded. That way I can instantly check on the status of all my submissions. Then you wait. And wait some more. Receive your first round of rejections. Refine your query. Send more queries to other literary agents. Note, you will get rejected. A lot. Shrug it off. If Misery Loves Company, nearly all major books have been rejected a lot. Harry Potter was rejected. Stephen King's Carrie was rejected multiple times. The Diary of Anne Frank was rejected. I make it a game to collect a certain amount of rejections. If I reach, say, 50 in a year, that means I've put my work out there 50 times, which I count as a win. Refine your letter. Send more queries. Make it a game, trying to collect 50 rejections in a year. That way you win either way. Repeat last two steps. If and when an agent is intrigued, they will ask for a full or partial manuscript, with details. Send them exactly as they request, no more, no less. Wait some more while they evaluate it. The agent either sends you a rejection or an acceptance. Oh, a rejection can be, no, go away or no, not right now, maybe another book later. This latter means they like your style, but this book isn't right for them right now. Try again with your next book. Almost common are boilerplate rejections. I just didn't fall in love with the book. Oh, an acceptance will likely come with some suggested revisions. It is up to you how much revision you are willing to do. If the suggested revisions change your style or voice more than you wish, you can decline and keep trying elsewhere. 
Once acceptance and revision are done, the agent will then submit your manuscript to different publishers. Oh, look! More waiting. The agent may not be able to successfully place your book. If so, you will have in your contract your options to move to another agent, if you wish. If your book is accepted by a publisher, congratulations. You win. More revisions to come. Prepare your manuscript. I first go through and do one last read through for errors or inconsistencies. Since many of my novels are set in historical Ireland, I create a glossary slash pronunciation guide in the back for any words that would be unfamiliar to readers. If there's a map, I add it. I write my dedication and or acknowledgements. I make sure my blurb and taglines are up to date, relevant, and pack some punch. Format your submission per the precise guidelines of the publisher you are targeting. This is very important. If they want triple spaced, Comic Sans type size 18, then that's what you do, while cringing so hard your face hurts. More likely it's double spaced, Times New Roman, size 12. Pay attention to what they want in the manuscript, title in the upper left of each page, author name in the right. No author name in the manuscript, only in the query letter.